What's going on, fight fans? It's your boy DMV, and I'm here with my post fight reaction to Kell Brook and, and Amir Khan. Man, and it was an absolute event, man. Um, I'll tell you this much, man. The people over in the UK, they know how to do it up, man. When it comes to events and it comes to these boxing matches and, and these grudge matches or whatever you call it, uh, they do it up, man. Uh, the entrances were on point, the crowd was on point. Um, for the most part, the officiating was on point, man. Everybody, for the most part, brought it, man. It was a lot of knockouts, a lot of action. Uh, things that a lot of people are looking for when they're looking at boxing cards and boxing events. And was it the biggest names? No. But this matchup probably should have happened a long time ago, close to 10 years ago. But it happened. Two guys that had a grudge. Two guys that have a gift of gab. Two guys that are well accomplished. And they went out there and they laid it all out there, man. And Kell Brook was just the better man today. He's probably been the better man the whole time. Uh, his, his chin withstood uh, what Amir was able to do early. And what happened was uh, Brook was able to uh, counter. He was able to use his jab. He was able to uh, uh, just land that right hand at will. And Amir Khan's punch resistance just wasn't there. And for the most part, man, that's, that's just Khan's MO, man. His chin. But I'll tell you this much, man. The thing about Amir Khan is... There's nobody out there that gets their ass kicked like Amir Khan. And I say that with love. I don't say that as a person that's hating. But nobody out there. Uh, I mean, when you watch Amir Khan fight, man, you're just waiting for that moment for when that when them legs wobble. We were able to see that in round one. And I mean, you know, for the most part, I think he did a good job. He showed a lot of heart. And that's one thing that you can say about Amir Khan. He might not have a chin, but he has a heart. And he's going to fight. He's going to keep fighting no matter how many times he gets hurt. And that's what happened here in Kell Brook. It just seemed like Kell Brook was just there to punish him. He wasn't there to beat him, just win the fight. He was there to punish Amir Khan. He was playing with his food at that point, and I believe it was round six where the referee just came in and just waved it off, man, because it was an ass whooping. That's just what it was. But at the end of the day, two men went in there. There was a grudge. Maybe it was late, maybe it wasn't, but they went in there, they settled it, and they got it done, man. And to be honest with you, I was completely entertained. I know that a lot of fight fans out there did not really want to see this fight like that. But for me, man, I just knew what it was. I knew it was two guys that hated each other. I know that Amir Khan puts on the show when he gets in there and when he fights. I know that Kell Brook really wants to go in there and, 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 and hit people, man. He wants to get in there and hit people and hurt people. And I just knew that it was going to pop off. But, you know, the result was that Kell Brook got the W, TKO. They have it settled. There wasn't any post-fight uh, interviews from what I've seen from ESPN+, Plus, which I'm disappointed with because with the buildup, over the years, I really needed to hear what happened after. Maybe I'll pay attention to some post-fight interviews uh, when they get to the panel and stuff like that. But I wanted to hear those guys in the ring. I wanted to hear if those guys were going to make amends right then and there. And it looks like they did, but, you know, we'll find out when we have the post-fight interviews and stuff like that. But I just wanted to give you my guys my post-fight reaction. I think Amir Khan should hang it up. And I think that uh, Kell Brook, possibly, he could hang it up if he wants to, or he could test his medal against some of the young guys out there. I still think he has some fight in him. There's some fights out there that I think that would be good for him. Um, but we'll see, man. You know, we'll see what, it, what happens. Maybe he wants to ride off in the sunset with this. Maybe he doesn't. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Uh, this is my boxing content. Peace.